Meow Meow presents. It rained three days in a row, and Kitty stayed home. I wonder when this rain will end and the sun will appear, thought Kitty. It's so boring to stay home. And then the rain ended. Hooray! Finally, the sun is shining. Kitty brightened up. I'm going to see Puppy. He's probably been sitting at home and getting really bored all alone, too. Kitty went outside, came up to his red car, got in, fastened his seatbelt, started the engine, pressed the gas, and started away. There were puddles everywhere since the rain had just stopped recently. That's so cool to drive in puddles when the water's splashing all around, thought Kitty. But suddenly, Kitty saw something really amazing. He'd never seen that before. There was a whole lake in front of him. Of course, it wasn't a lake, but a huge puddle. It had rained so long and there was so much water gathered that the pool blocked the road. I'm afraid of driving across this pool. It might be very deep. What to do? How do we get over this big puddle? There's only one way to Puppy's house. There's no other road. Kitty stepped out of the car and climbed onto the car's roof to see how big this lake or puddle was. He could see better from the height. And Kitty understood that he couldn't bypass this puddle. What shall I do? I've got it. I need to go to Max's magic garage. He'll upgrade my car. Here's the magic garage. Kitty honked. Beep, beep. Max, open the door. The gates opened right away and the car drove in real fast. Hi, Max. Today, I saw such a thing. You won't believe it. And Kitty told him everything that had happened today. How he stayed home for three days because of heavy rain and was bored. How he went to see Puppy. And how he all of a sudden came across a huge puddle which looked like a real lake. How he climbed on the roof of his car to see where the lake ended but couldn't see anything. This huge puddle probably appeared because of the rains that lasted for three days. Of course this happens, but there's nothing to be worried about. This puddle will disappear in a few days. It'll dry out. But I can't wait for a few days. I need to go to Poppy's. Take it easy, pussycat. We're gonna do something to make your car able to go into water and never sink. And then you can easily cross over that puddle. Hooray, Kitty said. We download special software. First, we need to lift up the car. We have a special elevator in the garage just for this. Done. Now we need to attach special air cushions to the bottom of the car. We choose a picture and we tap on it. Like this. Air cushions? What's this? Air cushions are just like two big sausages, but empty ones. They have air inside and are very light. They're like floats. They won't allow your car to sink. Look. We weld the first cushion on here. And here. Now the second one. Here. And there. Done. Cushions are installed. But how can I drive through the water? 
Kitty asked. Now the wheels won't touch the road. I mean, the bottom of the puddle. That's right, Kitty, Max said. We'll install an outboard propeller like the ones on motorboats to enable the car to move through the water. So, we choose it. We tap on it. Done! The propeller's installed! Kitty thought he was done and he could go, and happily ran up to the car. Max, can you take my car down? I've got to get going! Wait, there's more to come. We need to get a button that switches the propeller on. We drill a hole in the dash panel, like this, and put the button into the hole. Done! When the button is pressed, the propeller starts spinning, and the car will swim forwards. When the button switched off, the propeller stops, and the car stands still. It's quite simple. Now your car is called an amphibian because it can drive both on the road and on the water. Wow, nice. Good job, Max. Here's that puddle. Let's see what's going to happen. Kitty pressed the gas pedal and bravely drove the car right into the water. Yeah. Kitty's car drove into the water fast and went on swimming on the surface like a float. Great! The car's not sinking! Kitty remembered the button and pushed it. The rotor started to spin fast under the water, and the car started to swim forward just like a real boat. Kitty sailed over that huge puddle fast and got to the road from the other side. Kitty! Make sure to switch the propeller off. Push the button. Yeah, I remember. 